what inspired me to become a teacher, um, basically it happened because of two individuals. You know, the first individual would have to be um, my mother. Um, I would kind of just see her work ethic that she had and how she would um, work extremely hard to provide the necessary essentials that we needed. Um, so that kind of drove my work ethic. Um, the second individual that helped me become a teacher um, would have to be my third grade teacher. Um, I'm actually a product of Lenore Elementary um, and in third grade was when I transitioned um, from a Spanish speaking student into, you know, going into an all English setting. Therefore, um, I, I would, I remember I would, you know, cry and tell my mom, no, I don't want to go into, you know, an English speaking classroom. And my mom was like, you have to, you know, you're ready for it. Um, so I think by being a second language learner and having my third grade teacher nurture me and her teaching style kind of influenced me, you know, to be a teacher. I wanted to help the students that come from the same background as I did and show them that, you know, they can be successful if, if they're able to learn, you know, um, with someone that cares about them and someone that's able to build that connection with them. My third grade teacher was um, Miss Loera. Um, I, um, I don't know where she's currently at, but I know previously to that, you know, she was one of the GT instructors. I currently teach uh, fourth grade reading, um, and I've been teaching it for six years already. I have taught uh, third grade previously to fourth grade. Why reading? Well, fourth grade, actually, I, I want to address the why fourth grade. Why do I teach fourth grade? Um, basically, I think it's a perfect age for, you know, for students. It's, it's where you're able to mold them and empower them and hold them responsible and accountable, you know, um, and you're able to start instilling those values so they can carry them, you know, onto middle school and high school um, and college. Um, and the reason why I liked reading is because in fourth grade they start, they're not learning to read anymore. A lot of them already know how to read. They're starting to read in order to gain knowledge. So um, I, I like the concept of, you know, when you have a child walk in and they're like, well, you know, I don't like reading or they're kind of not into reading because reading can become very abstract where, where students are not able to connect with the reading subject. So when I'm able to, you know, provide those visuals and anchor charts and graphic organizers for them and I'm able to make reading concrete for them and they walk out of my classroom saying, wow, miss, I remember you told me at the beginning of the year that I was going to love reading and I do love reading. You know, that's when it tells me like, you know, I am teaching what I do like and, and making reading concrete for them so they, they know that, you know, they, they're able to love reading and they're able to use it every day of their life because reading is all around us. I think um, my number one highlight goes back to my background, um, being able to serve the students that I serve, um, especially my English language learners, um, and being able to share my upbringing with them because, um, like I mentioned before, um, I grew up in the same neighborhoods that they grew up, um, and being able to, you know, to make that connection with them why I'm instilling them and cultivating their academic knowledge would have to be my number one highlight that I have to that I get to live every single day with them. One thought that I would share with fellow teachers would be um, remember why you came into you know the, the teaching field. A lot of us chose to come into the teaching field to be advocates for the children um, and to make sure that you know we are helping these students progress from one year t to another um, and just making sure you know that that we're be building those well-rounded students so that way they they're able to serve our community you know in the future for new teachers um, coming in into the teaching field I would tell them to teach the children like if they were their own child and if they don't have kids then you know teach them like if you would have your brother, your sister in your classroom or your cousin or any relative. And the reason why I say that is because um, if your child is in a classroom, you know, you're going to want them to be learning every single day. And you're going to want them every minute to be valuable instruction for them. Um, and if you're able to do that in your classroom with any student, you're teaching them at every single 
moment, then your students are going to be successful no matter what. And I actually have a second advice that I would give them. You know, um, I was thinking, how do you become a skillful teacher? And, and my thing to becoming a skillful teacher is you borrow, you know, you steal ideas from other teachers and you adapt them to meet the needs of your students because that's the way you're able to, you know, learn and gain more activities and of course, use them with the students in the classroom. So being chosen as the district elementary teacher of the year, um, it's just a, a great honor. Um, I know our district has wonderful teachers um, throughout every single school that, you know, serve our students on a daily basis. Um, it's something that, that I was blessed with and, and it was, uh, it, I was astonished, you know, when I received it. Um, but it's something that I, I worked extremely hard, you know, with my students and, and just being recognized for it and showing that, you know, the worth ethic that my mom instilled in me is, is helping me accomplish great things. It's just an honor to have. Teacher, I wrote this song for you To thank you for every smile I know you had a lot to do I'm glad that you paused a while You took time to listen and to hear To laugh and just be there I heard that lesson loud and clear I mattered to you, you cared Cause when you reach out and you touch me with your heart Then you hold what I'm becoming in your hands And though you're with me just a while today Tomorrow's smile in your hands In your hands In your hands Teacher, I wrote this song for you Melody, words, and rhyme Lessons you taught me yesterday have disappeared into time But teacher, I never will forget A look you gave to me I saw reflected in your eyes The somebody I could be Cause when you reach out and you touch me with your heart Then you hold what I'm becoming in your hands And though you're with me just a while today You hold tomorrow's smile in your hands In your hands Cause when you reach out and you touch me with your heart Your hands, in your hands, in your hands.